previously? There might have been, but I mean, but he was really paranoid about everything. Huh. And I mean, that's that's part of his personality that they're they're out to get me. Right. Like the like uh, in London Dungeon with London Dungeon. Yeah. Or, or <laughs> you know, believe it or not, he came in. Uh, on the Avenue B Iggy tour, he came to uh, one of the shows we did. With Steve in London. Wow. And was, I mean, came backstage and was acting like, you know, just completely paranoid. Over what? There was nothing to be paranoid about. And I was like, hey, Glenn, you want to take a picture with me and Iggy? He's like, no, can't do that. Take and I the... thought, you know, Iggy thought it was hilarious. So Iggy Pop and Glenn Danzig were backstage at the same time. Mm hmm. What does Iggy Pop know of the Misfits or Sam Hain or any of that stuff? Does Iggy Pop like have any sort of understanding? Jim, Jim, does Jim have any kind of understanding of that stuff? Uh, kinda, and he always knows more than he lets on. Really? Mm -hmm. so he did like a... before he hired me. He did, you know, he did a bunch of figured out what I'd done. Oh. So he's asking you about playing in Sam Hain and whatnot. Uh, yeah, like he he wanted to well, he you know well he wants to know he's he's a deep thinker. Wow. And um, yeah, you know he wants to know well what you'd think about it a lot of times and uh, you know I remember when I auditioned I went over to his apartment and. Um, you know, we played some, I showed him a weird tuning and then on guitar and uh, we played for a while. And um, where was I going with this? I don't know, but I really have a lot of, I really want to talk about Iggy Pop because that's my other big obsession after Danzig and Miss, which is why you're like the coolest dude ever that you have feet in both of those worlds Let, let's finish up with the sam hand and then we'll get okay to, yeah let's... we're gonna get to that because that's i'm that is like to, I, I can't wait to talk about that um 